If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know about a game I play a lot of called Ingress. Now, Ingress is a game that takes place in the real world, but what I wanted to do in this video is show you how you can make a game like Ingress in Minecraft. Now, the, the, main, the main staple of Ingress is a collection of things called portals, which in the real world are places th of, of interest, such as statues or murals or interesting artwork and so forth. In Minecraft, I've made this structure here, which is going to be a portal. And in this video, I want to show you how you can make it so players can capture the portal for their team. So you'll see what I've got is I've got a tall pillar of white wool heading up into the ceiling into the sky and a bunch of buttons here of different colors so four different colors um, and down in a pit down in the ground here you can see a bunch of command blocks now what these buttons do the buttons up here they're attached you can't see them I've hidden them behind these uh, these sea lanterns but you see there's command blocks inside there and what this could there's actually two command blocks there's one on top as well which I'm gonna have to break a lot to be able to see that unfortunately but there it is so what this command block does it instantly fills the patch below this below that command block it'll be filled with air down inside the pit so from seven above the bedrock level up to 60 which is about four below the the sea level in Minecraft so that will fill that with air and then these this command block is activated at the same time but you'll see down here I've said to delay by two ticks so in actual fact this command will get filled later and what that's hap what that's doing it's filling in a column directly below this block with redstone blocks so what will that do well as you can see right now the pits empty if I press that button then suddenly there's a bunch of redstone blocks there those redstone blocks are right next to those command blocks so they will activate those command blocks those command blocks will be everything you want to happen when the button on the orange wool is pressed um, if I then press the button on the purple wool you'll see the 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 whole area there will be f cleared filled with air and then a new set of redstone blocks will appear and there it is so those redstone blocks will be next to those command blocks so whatever happens will be so in those command blocks we put whatever we want to happen when the purple block is pressed so there we go and we can it's got four buttons and so forth right so those command blocks get activated whenever the buttons are pressed up here to show you what they do let's just jump down into this hole we here we go all right so we're at the bottom of the pit now the bottom of the hole and what you'll see just above the bedrock layer is this layer of sea lanterns I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what that's for in a later video then we've got some dispensers here now in these dispensers I've got some fireworks so there's orange fireworks in those ones in this layer there's green colored fire or lime colored fireworks and so on the blue ones there purple ones there and the wall blocks are just to help me remember what color fire block fireworks are in each layer just like these wall blocks these are to help me remember which commands which command blocks are triggered when people press different colored buttons so this these command blocks are triggered when the orange button is pressed and to actually capture the portal it's only these first four blocks that are used um, the rest I'll explain what goes into them in a later video but for this one the first thing that happens is the column in the middle that is white wool at the moment gets changed to orange wool um, so that's this fill command this fill command fills that column with orange wool the different this over here that's not orange wool of course it's green wool the, the, the number here at the end after the word wool 
helps Minecraft know what color you want. And this is for purple wool. That's when the purple blocks, when the purple button's pressed. So that's the first thing that happened is the portal actually changes color from white or whatever it was before to whatever button, the color of whatever button has been pressed. Now, the next one, that's where these dispensers come in. Um, when someone captures a portal, we want fireworks to blast out. So this will make a copy of those dispensers up to near the top of the tower. So this, that's what this does. This, this, these coordinates indicate the location of the, of that orange, the set of orange dispensers down the bottom. The purple ones, you'll notice it's got five instead of two. That's the Y coordinate, the vertical coordinate of those purple dispensers. Now, it's no good just putting the dispensers there. We need to trigger them. And to do that, this third command block pops a redstone block smack in the middle of the four dispensers. But not instantly. I've made it so there's a delay of two ticks between the dispensers appearing at the top of the tower and the redstone block appearing. So the dispensers will be created up there then the redstone block goes there to trigger them and the fireworks should shoot out. And then finally the last block is to clean everything up. That just fills the area with the dispensers and the redstone block with appropriately coloured wool. Purple for this one and whatever other, whatever colour for the other columns. Now to give the dispensers time to actually fire, this fill command is delayed by 10 ticks. Ten, nine is about the the minimum delay needed for the fireworks to work. I've made it ten. All right. So those are the commands that are involved in actually capturing the portal and changing its color. Let's fly up to the top and see that in action. All right. Now to see that in action, I've uh, got another agent here. And they're going to press the buttons and, and we'll see what happens. So let's try that out. First of all, the green button. And you can see the, the, pillar, of, the pillar changes to green as they do that. Now the orange one. There we go. And you can hear the fireworks up, up, at the, up the top of the column. We'll go and have a look at that in a moment. In fact, let's go right now. So there you can see it flying, the fireworks flying off in this, into the sky there. Okay, I'll just fly up a bit so we can see the whole thing. Here we go. So now we're above the level of the fireworks. And we could change it to night time, I guess. No, we'll leave it like that. And now the agent down there is going to press some more buttons. So the orange one again. Here we go. And there you can see the dispensers appear. The fireworks fly up. And then the orange, um, and then the orange flame fl shoot out into the sky to indicate that the portal has been captured. There it goes. Now, obviously, when people play this, they'll be in survival mode, and you might be wondering how on earth do they get up so high to to capture the portal? Well, there's nothing actually stopping you building a tower to 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 get to the platform. As you can see, that's not too hard. And there'll be times when the portals, in fact, are just the right height to, to just walk straight into, as you can see here. In fact, you could easily find that some of them end up underground. Uh, this one would have been underground if it had been just a little bit further across. So don't worry about too much about whether the portables, whether the portals are reachable from ground level. They they won't be. They won't be. But that just adds to the challenge of the game. You you may have to dig for some or climb for others. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show how you can code it up so that portals actually get linked together. Right now, you can see this is not functioning. If I make this portal green, there's currently no way to link it to that neighboring green portal. But to see the commands to make that work, just watch the next video. Um, 
If you like this kind of video, do subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and thanks so much for watching. That's about all for this one. See you in the next video.